Question 14 reads, if 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 8, and negative 1 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 3, which of the following gives a set of all possible values of x times y? Now the way to not approach this problem is to quickly just start multiplying these limits and assuming that that'll work for the set of possible values for x, y. You'll end up getting the wrong answer because we're dealing with negative numbers here. Things aren't always going to work out the same. The best way to handle this problem is to just think critically about it. What is the smallest possible value of x times y? Well, the smallest possible value of y is negative 1. And the smallest possible value of x is 0. But those multiplied together would give you 0. There's a way to get even smaller. If you take 8 as x and negative 1 as y, that's the smallest you can possibly get out of x times y. So negative 8 is the smallest you could possibly get. Now let's talk about how big can you possibly get. Well, 8 is the largest x I'll ever get, and 3 is the largest y I'll ever get. And negative numbers aren't going to come into play here. So the upper bound is 24. And that's the correct answer, E.